It's my second morning in Wolfsburg, Germany, and I'm going to be joining the 20,000 people who work on the assembly lines of the world's biggest car factory as their new recruit. Thanks for bringing it round. I realise I run the risk of being late, but I wanted to do this, ride the assembly line. There's 12 miles of this. Each station has just 60 seconds to complete their task or run the risk of stopping the line entirely. And it's all about efficiency. Even the floor is made especially out of wood to put a spring in the worker's steps. Anyway, I've got to get on. Nearly there. Over 800,000 cars roll off these assembly lines every year. There are four different models being assembled at the same time, each with its own tailor-made specification. Everything relies on the absolute precision and efficiency of the workforce. No pressure on me, then. Hello, Hammond, reporting for duty. What am I going to do? After vast rooms full of robots, actual humans, and Songwell here is my new supervisor. Right, I've been briefed. Wait till car comes along, put onto roof of car. Black. You sure? Yes. Yeah, she seems to be under the impression I actually work here now, so I'm going to be gone for a while. Now? Right. I mean, you think of all these various... Oh, I can't... Uh, too sure. One, two... Oh, it's in. Ooh, yeah, that was hot. It's like landing a space shuttle, that was. That was intense at work. Yeah, I reckon I'll be in for a company award. At least employee of the month. Probably something a bit grander. Right, it's silver. Silver. Yeah, I'll be managing this place soon. It's kind of the crowning glory, really, until I've done my bit. The car just doesn't look finished. If, by the way, you've ordered one of these in white, know that I finished it. Well, nearly finished it. Where's this go? In there? Yes. It's going well. It's going well. Quality job. Yes. Yep. She's uh, just finishing it off, but I did all the hard work. Every car ordered from this factory will have a unique specification. This is a complex operation that relies on a global network of suppliers. Take this hot hatch, for example. The steel comes from Belgium. The steering wheel, Romania. The front lights, Czech Republic. The back lights, Poland. The wheels are from Korea. The tyres from Turkey. The electronics from Japan, China and Malaysia. I could go on, but I shan't, because this car has around 10,000 parts. In all, 2,600 suppliers send those parts to this factory from all over the world. Now, you'd think they'd stockpile parts on site so they'd never run out of anything, but they'd need a warehouse the size of New York Central Park. What they do is much cleverer. It's a process called just-in-time, where parts arrive into the factory and onto the assembly line at the moment they're needed and it's revolutionised manufacturing. This vast space is not a warehouse filled with months and months worth of car parts. Round here, they call it the supermarket. Parts are shipped in here from all over the world all day, every day. They're not stockpiled. There's just enough delivered to keep the factory working. Those parts are then delivered from here to where they're needed on the line, in the right order, just in time. To give me an idea how lean the whole process is, I'm putting in a shift with supermarket supervisor, Benny, who's worked in the factory for 10 years. You see on this monitor that you need to pick a part. Yeah. And you need to look for the light. Oh, this light here? I thought it was just like to make the place jolly. So it's this light here. OK, I go here where this light is. Yes, take both pieces. Oh, look, that's where the dials go. So this piece you need to put in here. Yep. Very good. And Got this it. piece you need to put yep. in here. Okay. And now you need to buzzer. And now you need to oh, so pack a, a second item. Evans! Evans! Yes. And please put it in here. Put it where? There? Yes. And then use the buzzer again. Boom! 
Wow. Whoa. Is that good? That was amazing. Right. So these parts that we're sending out, yes. how long will they sit in here for? On average, for one to six hours. Well, and then it's gone. Then it's gone. So you only hold about six hours worth of parts. Yes. Then they start running out. Yes. That's how just in time it is. Yes, that's true. Okay. I'm probably not doing this as quickly as I'm supposed no, to, am I? No, you're okay. not. We need to push the That button. means der factory no. is broken. Der factory is kaput. <laughs> Okay. Right, here we go. Hurry up. If I've learned one thing about just in time, it's that it really means totally lean and efficient. I mean, this box is leaving with just three specific car parts in it, destined for a specific car on a specific line, and it will arrive at that car, well, just in time. That's it. It's that finely balanced. Actually, you're getting better and better and better. Natural skill. I'm quite proud of you. Thank you very much. You can work in our picking area, actually. We'll have to talk about pay and holidays. <laughs> From the supermarket, the specific parts for individual cars are sent to the correct assembly lines to be fitted. But keeping track of millions of components takes more than a spreadsheet. The quantity of information, of data, flying around this factory at any second of any day is way too much for a human brain to comprehend. Every robot, every human worker on every mile, every kilometre of line needs to know what part to deliver, what part to fit, to what car and when. The answer to how all of that happens is here. This machine might look a bit like one of those fortune-telling machines at a fairground doesn't tell your fortune, but it does tell the future of a car because it's fitting them with RFID tags. A deceptively simple and tiny radio frequency identification tag is attached to the chassis of each car. It contains every bit of information about the vehicle being made. And using electromagnetic fields, the robots identify the thousands of individual components needed to turn that chassis into a unique car. So that one piece of metal was just a car part until now. There, that's it, that's the moment. That's now a car, officially. Workers here call that moment the baptism. That was just another car part delivered here just in time. When it's been stamped with that ID, that will bring with it all the information to coordinate this whole endeavour to turn that piece of metal into an entire car built specifically to somebody's taste. That is the small thing that makes the big possible, no doubt.